so the gospel that is gaining momentum is for blocking uh, anyone born between 1940 and 70 from voting i want it to be very voluntary i want you to reason out with uh, your parents your grandparents your aunties you know your relatives your uh, even your bosses i want you to reason out with them that they they have the propensity eh? they are predisposed to making poor electoral choices and we have proven time and time again that they have, we, we the country was left to them was bequeathed to them by the colonialists for the last 60 years what do these guys do once they get to uh, the ballot they, they, they but their heads are stuffed with a lot of garbage with a lot of toxicity uh, which they gain from listening to mainstream media from listening to vernacular radio from reading the media from consuming content from corrupt clergy so every other five years they wait for five years they suffer like now they've already started eh? They're paying for the blood of William Ruto. They are saying we are going to remove him, but it's never about who they are electing. It's about settling scores, scores which have emanated from their initial decision of poor electoral choices. So these guys cannot be helped again. We, you cannot teach old dog an old dog new tricks. So these guys need to be f as far away from the election table as possible, and it has to be voluntary. You have to talk to them and tell them now you are growing old. You are getting old. Hmm? You, you are needing medical care, you are needing uh, food, you are needing sustenance, and we are the ones who are young enough to provide that for you. But we cannot provide that for you when you keep on electing this uh, cycle of thugs, this crop of uh, despots that you are uh, you're familiar with. So you tell them, sit at home, we are going to elect from you because now we want to overhaul everyone from the presidency to the MCA, we want to overhaul. But you know, because I was looking at another young TikToker and he was saying he's looking for a guy who scammed the mom eh, and bought and uh, sold her a very uh, dubious uh, cell phone worth 20,000, but it's a, no, an unknown phone. But the line that he used to sell her that phone was uh, w w this phone you're going to be getting past Nganga live, everything you're going to be. And she bought. You understand now can you trust such a person who is eh, who is uh, dangled or who is uh, induced with such a fictitious uh, you know trajectory of uh, words can you trust them to uh, to elect and to vote wisely and to elect the right people no because they have proven time and time again that as they are getting older older they are getting dumber it's almost like we are having reverse evolution in kenya but it's with the crop of boomers remember this is a global phenomenon you're seeing the boomers now are ready to risk a world war because they are done they're finished we've lived our lives with what let's die let's kill the next generation that's their mentality this is, this is boomers they look at the ones in kenya what have they bequeathed to us they they used to look that we don't need playgrounds because then they played then they had all the social amenities they had all the social halls in eastlands in your respective towns they had stadiums now they what we we no longer need these ones we played us we lived uh, the best lives as we, as we were young so what do we do? Let's say uh, katakata these plots of sale. You get a, bro uh, a broker and as user, eh, like now you are seeing uh, schools, places where which have been demarcated as schools. I was seeing there is a hotel on Kiamburu. Somebody saying that it was supposed to be a school and now it was sold. This is their their thinking. This is boomers. They are stupid. Mm, your parents your grandparents that is and then because they are elevated in churches eh, the, the more you have money and the more corrupt uh, corruptly uh, acquired money that you have the more you are praised the more you are worshipped the churches love you eh, the, the pastors eh, wachungaji, they'll always be in your house every evening eh, said, uh, giving you cock and bull stories just to extract that money you see so we cannot uh, uh, we cannot then leave the responsibility of elections to this misguided lot we have to get rid of them and we have to ensure i do you know <laughs> i was speaking with somebody today and they were saying it's not me it's not my words eh, that they should be we should lock the houses on election day we should hide their ids it's not me it's, i'm telling you is my friend who was suggesting that but i told them no i told them this has to be voluntary you can reason out with them i know it's very hard to reason out with people who have always been shown that they are right but it's you young people who have uh, spoiled them you have told them that everything that comes out of their mouth is uh, is wisdom eh? and these days we have discovered that age is no longer a measure of wisdom so you, you young people is you to move 
ahead and you know and tell your parents and your grandparents that please if you want us to take care of you if you don't want me to take you to the goto uh, home for the aged hmm? if you don't want me to take you there where you'll be caned uh, you listen to me stay at home don't go and vote because we need a fresh you know we need a fresh start but we can't get a fresh start with these old bastards you know you look at all the towns they've degraded they've degenerated because these guys when they go and vote Mm, and we have determined that the young people are the majority because if 8 million Kenyans boycotted elections, another 4 million eh, boycotted to register. Now, what, what everyone has been saying that, oh, Ruto will still... Look, you can steal small numbers. You can steal eight, uh, 500,000, 800,000. You can steal those ones. But once it's over 5 million, it's impossible to steal. Even the Electoral Commission will tell you, no, no, no. But they have already sold you. That's how they get you from away from voting they have already sold you the lie of voter apathy about they they use violence they use all sorts of uh, mind mind control schemes to get you not to vote but now you are you need to come out in eh? <laughs> there was somebody who once said in large numbers and large quantities i don't know who was that politician you need to you need to turn out and then you need to ensure that your parents and grandparents don't vote at all we don't need their help you, you need to tell them that that we, we don't need your help even though you have money is chances are once you get to that voting booth you're going to be you're going to revert to your factory settings and your factory settings is toxicity mm, is a lot of rubbish pumped in your head over time and once it gets to that uh, that period of elections it's almost like a switch somebody controls it and then you see somebody who has suffered for the last five years suddenly st starting to reason like a chokora mm? these are your parents your grandparents your uncles your aunties we don't want anyone preferably over 50 voting and it's not about the age it's about the era which they were raised in these boomers have no value for humanity you see how they cut trees you see how they build roads you know cutting corners and everything you've seen how they've left junkyards of uh, of, of infrastructure in the in the country eh? just because they don't like sports just because they don't see sports eh? then they, they they view importation now eh? they killed all the manufacturing and then now they are they've reduced to importers and then the same idiots who are enduring the, uh, the the bad the negative the harmful effects of the collapsed manufacturing uh, industries and agriculture and everything they are there praising the importers they are there praising the tenderpreneurs you see this they can't be helped because it's this is a mutated strain of stockholm syndrome where they constantly uh, have affection towards their oppressors so you, your, your parents and your grandparents they are stupid by because of the era they were born in because they found everything functional they used to come to nairobi yeah, with only an id they get a job they do what did, did they have conversations about politics no did they talk about good governance no why were they still nostalgic about uh, the uhuru kenyatta presidency because they assumed that jomo kenyatta was a brilliant president yet they didn't take time like we are doing right now to say that jomo kenyatta never launched or built any project he was just going to rename projects which had been done by the colonialists you understand it's the same thing that ruto is doing today yeah ruto is just going to rename to rebrand he goes for a church service he goes here i don't know what he's in kericho green stadium you saw there was death in kericho green stadium uh, some uh, Samson Cheragay has been very consistent in criticizing Ababu Namwamba. Ababu Namwamba apparently was a supervising minister for uh, preparing that that facility for the National Day celebration. And we have defended Ababu Namwamba before, but now it's becoming too much when people die. It's becoming too much, man. So we have said Cheragay, continue with the show. You know, Ababu Namwamba was left. The first thing they removed arts and culture and whatever they took it to Aisha Jumwa's uh, to Aisha Jumwa and then they left him with sports because of all the bad publicity he was getting with the influencers at the time but now <laughs> I've seen Cherage is very consistent yo go ahead man so these are guys who don't even value you know things like sports and because the the generation of boomers never had these conversations that we are having we are calling the president out for rewinding projects which had been launched earlier uh, and now the boomers never had these conversations about Ken jomo kenyatta which is why they thought that the kenyatta era was prosperous no uh, kenyatta was a thief just like the sun came to steal four trillion kenya shillings you understand so we are having the conversations 
they never had the conversations they absconded or they squandered that opportunity to have conversations because they were carried away by euphoria eh, and uh, and propaganda so as we are telling the old generation of boomers you are idiots you're stupid we don't want you to vote we don't need your help please stay at home on election day 2027 please